In this video, we're going to integrate our Cisco Web Security Appliance with SecureX. In order to integrate our WSA, we're going to have to connect it to the Security Services Exchange. To get there, I'll click the Launch button on the left-hand side of the SecureX dashboard. I'll click Login to have my single sign-on carry me right in. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the Cloud Services tab on top and enable Cisco Threat Response and Eventing. As you can see, I've already done this, so there's nothing to enable. So I'll go back to my Devices tab and then click the Addition button to add a new device. I'm going to keep the settings at the default and copy the token to my clipboard. Now I'm going to swing over to my Web Security Appliance dashboard and navigate to Network and then Cloud Service Settings. I'm going to click the Edit Settings button and enable Threat Response. Then I'll click Submit and then commit the changes. After those changes have committed, I'm going to choose the threat response server that's closest to me, which will be the Americas, and then paste the registration token in, and then I'll click register to register this device. Now that that's registered, let's swing back to our security services exchange and refresh the device list. We should now see our device registered here. Now I'm going to go back to the SecureX dashboard and navigate to Integrations, and I'll add the module for the, for the Web Security Appliance. From the drop-down, I'll choose the WSA from the available list, and for the request time frame, I'll just choose 30 days and click Save. Now let's go back to our dashboard, and I'm going to create a new dashboard for content security, and I'm going to add all the Web Security Appliance tiles into it. So one thing I noticed right away is that there's an exclamation point and no data. I've learned that sometimes it might take a few seconds initially for the data to register for the WSA. Usually I just need to click the refresh button on the bottom right hand corner of the tile and the information will show up as you can see here. And that's pretty much all there is to set up this initial configuration with the WSA. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video.